I am uh, Hamleta Kalyan, teaching at Glenanda Primary School, Grade 5 Mathematics. Today I taught symmetry, which is the geometry part of maths in the intermediate phase, giving them more information about two-dimensional shapes. How would I know if this is a line of symmetry? Then you, it's, it's the same as the top, so then as you fold it, then it's the same. It will fold over and fit exactly into the other part. Then that is a line of symmetry. Now describe this line. Uh, it's a line of symmetry, but it's going diagonally. Thank you. That's a line of symmetry that's going diagonally. Okay, now what we can see here is if we take these shapes, I want each one of you to put this on the board showing me a horizontal line, the vertical line, and the diagonal line. There we go. Place it next to each other so that we can see one is vertical, one is horizontal, and one is diagonal. Okay, do you all... Are you all okay with this? Yes. Why? Why, Nicholas? So what is this thing? Horizontal. Is this horizontal? No. This is? How would I know it's vertical? How would I know it's vertical? You get that? And that makes it? Vertical. Vertical. So what do I have to do with it? What do I have to do with it? Some duration. Are we right now? Yes. What I like to do is first of all to create a positive environment for maths, knowing that children find it difficult, is to, to work from known to unknown. So I would always start with um, what they know already. If I'm teaching a concept, uh, what have you done that will bring you to the new concept? Now we're going to look at shapes, okay? We're going to look at shapes and items that you see around you, okay? You're going to look at shapes and you're going to see other objects that you see around you that can have symmetry and that may not have symmetry. What I want you to do is each one to take one card. It doesn't matter what card you take. It doesn't matter what picture you take. You take that card and have a good look at it. Take out your pencil and your ruler. I don't know if that will be enough for everyone. Just take one and pass the next on. Okay? Is anyone short? Extras. But can you just divide these as well? Extras. Share some of these. You can have two cards, it doesn't matter. Take the picture that you have and with your ruler and a pencil, I want you to find the line of symmetry in your picture. And if you don't find it, then you've got to tell me afterwards, okay? is now. Yes. So now I'm going to give you a picture. Okay? Yeah. In your picture I want you to look at everything on the picture. The picture itself. Discuss and find. In the whole picture look for what has symmetry. I'm giving you two minutes, eh? Okay. Right. We're looking at this picture. 
Okay? Can you remember where this picture comes from? Yes. Ebi e book, yes. Okay, we're looking at this picture. Now, first, I want to look at the whole picture. Okay? You are in the park and you see this whole scene. Okay? Now, when you look at the whole picture, tell me about the symmetry there. Matty? What makes you say it's not symmetrical? What's wrong with the bushes? And the one on this side doesn't look the same like that one at the end of the video. Only the bushes? Yes, but no, apple. What apple? Look at the tree. But they're all the same on this side and this side. It's out of place. As soon as something's out of place, it's not symmetrical. But now let's not be so fussy and let's look at each object there, right? If you look at the objects there, can you see the butterflies? Yes. What do you think about the butterflies? Yes. Have you ever seen a real butterfly? Yes. Sir. Did you see symmetry in a butterfly? Yes. Sir. Really? Is it identical on both sides? Yes. Sir. When they open their wings, they are the same on both sides. So there are some things in nature that we find that have very accurate symmetry. Also, the line of reflection can also be called the mirror, not mirror, the mirror line. line. It is the mirror. If you stand in front of the mirror, you're looking at yourself, it's not you, it's your reflection. It's your reflection. So that mirror is your line of reflection. So there is a difference between the symmetry and the symmetry where you have your line, your mirror line, and the object here is identical to the object there. Now that's not very identical, but the distance from there to there is the same. The object that's reflected is identical, but it's a reflection. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you worksheets. You need to follow the instruction on the work. They're very simple. They're very straightforward, okay? In the one, you are going to find all the pictures that are symmetrical. And in the one, you're going to find all the pictures that are not symmetrical. And the second worksheet will give you a good practice on copying the identical side. Learners come with the idea that maths is difficult. And because of that, teachers who are teaching maths will have to make it fun for them, real for them, giving them enough experiences so that they may deal with it in a more positive way.